A few months ago, First News reported on broken fire hydrants in Niles. 27 First News anchor Dave Sess wanted to know if they ever got fixed. He's getting ready for the start of our Game of the Week against Gerard in Niles. Let's go live to him now. Dave? Yeah, well, the gate is open here at Niles as Gerard gets set to come to open the 2016 high school football season. Tickets do not go on sale for another hour, though, so keep that in mind. While in Niles today, also checked on that sewer, which is being fixed. That's at Main Street in West Federal. That work is progressing. They were busy on that one today. But as you said, Erica, I was checking on these things, the fire hydrants today, because this is an issue of public safety that concerns every person who comes through the city of Niles, whether you live here or you come to work here here or you just come to visit as well. Very important issue of public safety. So what is the latest condition on the fire hydrants in the city? Well, you'll remember I had a special report in March saying that 91 hydrants had special red markings on them, meaning something was broke on them. Now, it doesn't mean that they don't work, although they may not work at 100%. Well, today I got that update. Over a third of those hydrants have been fixed. That means parts have been replaced and they're more functional. Now, the fire chief was happy with the effort so far while realizing the city is in a budget crisis and a resident told me how important those hydrants are. Well, yeah, it certainly is. It's good that they keep track with uh, maintenance and, and testing out the, uh, uh, the hydrants, you know, of course. Now, the water department told me that while it's a good start, a new issue is holding back from more from being fixed. That's a string of water main breaks around the city that have kept workers too busy for much else. I'm going to continue to follow these situations. I think they're important, and as I get any updates, I'll be sure to relay them to you.